What's up guys, it's your boy 1904 Comics. Today I'm gonna be doing a room tour. I've been saying that for quite a long time. I'm actually gonna do it today. So let me flip this camera around, show you guys my room, and just kinda, you know, give you guys a quick little tour. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So give me one second. All right guys, so here's a zoomed out version of what it looks like. Now let's start off with this wall. Let me zoom it in and we'll get started. So these I got done at a con here in San Diego. It wasn't San Diego Comic Con. I believe it was called Comic Fest. It's a small con at one of the hotels. Pretty cool. Um, not a lot of people, so you're able to actually walk around, able to sit there and talk to artists and creators and whatnot, and not be rushed out of the line real quick because there's so many people. So I really enjoyed it. Um, this artist, his name was Dave Garcia. He worked for one of the TMT titles. I don't remember exactly which one, but he was nice enough to do these for me. Off to the left, we have a splash page by Tony S. Daniel. Then I had the Batman to the left of that uh, commissioned. He did that for me and picked it up at one of the cons. Above that, we have a sketch done by J. Scott Campbell, the Wonder Woman. In the Walking Dead one, I met this artist a long time ago at one of the cons. I started following him online. And then at WonderCon, I believe it was, or maybe it was uh, the one in LA, I forget the other one, what it's called. That one had Merle, um, his real name is, uh, I believe, Michael Rooker, and he was going to be at this con, so I asked the artist, hey, can you do this little funny drawing for me, and uh, I'll try to get him to sign it, and Michael Rooker was able to sign it, really nice guy, if you get a chance to meet him, I said go for it, because it was really cool. Off to the left, we have some Gunslinger 6, um, uh, yeah, 6 Gun, we have Absolute Why the Last Man, some fluffy Funko Pops. It's the artist or the comedian edition. So those are signed. Then we got the other ones that have been released so far is Joe Coy and Jeff Dunham. I'll show you those better look in just a second. Now we have Batman and Robin, Superman, Super Sons. Super Sons, I wish it was the blue one. It's the, just the first edition one, so it doesn't really match. Maybe I could sell this one and pick up the blue one so it'll look nice. But if it doesn't happen, well, at least I have it and it is what it is. Let's continue. After that, we have Swamp Things, Scott Snyder, the Batman Adventures, Mad Love, Batman, Harley, and Ivy. We have Killing Joke, Batman Year One, the New 52 run of Batman, some Harley Quinn goodness at the end there. Joker, uh, Why Night Presents, Harley Quinn, Death in the Family, Hush, uh, Dark Knight Returns, Black Mirror, Long Halloween. So that is this shelf right here and uh, all my all my um omnibus have a bro dart and a sleeve and even these ones have a sleeve on them they all have a you know a sleeve as you can see so they're all extra protected little overly done i think but whatever underneath that we have some nightwing uh robin year one uncanny x-force american vampire civil war deadpool minibus I believe there's one more, maybe two. Not 100% sure. Uh, Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, Superior Foes of Spider Man, Extinction Agenda, Star Wars, and Dr. Afra. Next to that, we have some stuff I gotta put in my CLZ app, and that's why it's there. So here's one last look at this. Underneath that, we have Berserk. I'm reading uh, Volume 4 right now. And uh, these are evergreen, so I don't have the rest of them just because whenever I want number six, I know it'll be reprinted if I can't pick it up, you know, the day I exactly want it. I just have to wait a little bit and they'll reprint it. And the same thing with the rest of them. But Blade of the Immortal, on the other hand, I kind of asked around and no one really knew if it was going to be evergreen. So I'm making sure I pick those up. Uh, volume four right now is stuck with in stock trades. For some reason, it hasn't been shipped yet. So we'll see when that happens. Uh, next to that, that black case is where I get my weeklies in. I go to the shop and put my weeklies in there just to protect them. Right here we have, let me sit down, get a better angle. We have uh, The Underwater Welder, great book, Roughneck, Wrinkles, The Lighthouse is that little one right next to it. We have Deadly Class, Manifest Destiny, Outcast. I believe all those are signed. Let's take a peek. Maybe I'm wrong. I know for sure Outcast and Manifest Destiny, I might not be 100% sure on uh, Deadly Class. But yeah, it has a cool little sketch. And then next to that, we have Pope, Reckless, Southern Bastards, 
The Afterlife with Archie, Copperhead, I Kill Giants, Seven to Eternity, Volume 1, I gotta get the rest. Uh, Day Tripper, Punk Rock Jesus, Cowboy, um, I forget what the rest of the damn thing was called. Pull it out to show you guys. It was a fun little read. So yeah, that little read right there, pretty cool. Uh, Essex County, Mouse, Stitches, Usagi, Paper Girls Compendium, Invincible Compendium. Uh, the one, the main reason I have Invincible out is because, one, obviously I own it. Um, I usually keep it in the garage. But the Outcast Compendium is the same size, about the same amount of issues. So I'm just trying to get a feel of how big it would be. And next to the Invincible Compendium, I have uh, the Outcast, just the first volume. Just for comparison reasons. So maybe I'll pick up the Outcast one, not 100% sure. But um, let's continue. We got Flintstones after that. Coming out with a hardcover, so I'll probably pick that up. Then we have Akira box set, Don Rosa Library Edition, just two sets, so one through four. Um, then my weeklies I keep in the the little short box. Then right here I have a bunch of artwork. Um, let's show it to you guys. Why not? We have time. Let's do it. All right, check it out. First one, I believe this is Jim Chung, 2013. Let's continue. Little Iron Man sketch. Some more sketches. I believe Ryan Otley did this one. I'm not sure who did this one. This one was from a guy in Artist Alley. He, I don't think he was like a known artist, just a normal guy hustling his artwork, but it's pretty amazing. I wish I knew his name so I'd give him a shout out because it's, it's really nicely done. Never go to cons. I usually hang around Artist Alley and just buy artwork and stuff. One, because it's pretty cheap, and just to try to support the artist as well. Wonder Woman. This is one of the first cons I went to. It might have been the first one. I was walking around. They were giving out comics at the DC booth. He handed me this, and he was like, oh, get in line. You can have it signed. I don't even know by who. If you recognize the signatures, let me know. Um, what else do we got? Uh, another Batman, Harley Quinn. And that's it. Let's get back to the back to the shelves. Check it out. We have a signed UFC glove. Underneath that, we have some statues. Joker stack deck. Um, it's kind of my manga shelf, so I don't got a lot of stuff for manga right now. So that's kind of taking up a spot just to have something there. 20th Century Boys, Perfect Edition, first two volumes. Gotta get the rest. Asadora, one through four. Fun read. One piece. I come to the conclusion I'm probably not be able to pick them all up. There's, there's a couple that seem like they're going to be really hard to get. So I don't know if I want to want to get it. Just because I want all these holes in the collection. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I got the first four three-in-ones. Now for those, I was going to get the hardcovers. So I stopped picking up the three-in-ones. I never picked up the hardcovers. So I kind of forgot what the hell it's about. So I'm going to have to re... Or not re... Or yeah, actually reread it and pick up the rest and... Yep, no hardcovers for me. Maybe one day. A uh, Spy Family. After that, we have Food Wars. Number three is a little hard to get. Um, but I did watch the anime, so I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to try and pick up the rest and see how many hard ones in the the whole run. Hopefully not too many. Maybe one or two. If that, I'll pick up the rest. Oh, my weekly is right there. Underneath that, we have Vagabond, Monster, Vinland Saga. All great reads. I got to pick up the rest. The Beast Stars. haven't read it yet. Chainsaw Man, I got to pick up the first three. I believe on um, Barnes & Noble, they have them solicited for later this year. Don't know how accurate that is. Mashal, Rent a Girlfriend, One Punch Man, Undead Unluck, Zom 100. And then underneath that, we have um, some VHS tapes. Check it out. We have a GoPro, I just bought that. Some screen protectors and accessories. Underneath that, we have some more VHS tapes. Now let's go on to the Kalax. We have some Gundam. Right here we have a Court of Owls, Hush, and the Long Halloween Absolute. Underneath that we have DMZ, Scalped, Sweet Tooth, Why the Last Man, Hunter Bullets, Sandman. Underneath that, just some uh, pens and stuff like that for when I do my bag and board, little duster. Try to keep everything clean. Sandman, number two, Sleeper, Grass Kings, 
underneath that we have some boards little notepad keep notes uh, Rachel Rising, He-Man, G.I. Joe. I got that for super cheap, so I picked it up. I never read it. Uh, Chew, I would like to get them all in hardcovers, but there's like two or three that are pretty hard to get. A little expensive, so I don't know if I'll get them. Hopefully, they reprint them so I can. Next to that, we have Freaks of the Heartland. Great read. Pretty sad story. I highly recommend it. Then underneath that, we got a Gundam, and I bought uh, Gloomhaven. This is a board game. So let's continue on to... The other side of the K-Lac. Here's a good look at the Gundams. Pretty cool. Check them out. Oh, and a better look at the Pops. Just in case you're interested. Joe Coy, Jeff Dunham. Now underneath that, we have Black Hammer. World of Black Hammer. I got to pick up the other two. Fear Agent Goon. Um, I kind of stopped reading comics for a while. So there's a lot of holes in some of these. I kind of regret it because a lot of good titles uh, were out at the time I stopped. So I couldn't pick them up no more just because they're hard to get. Uh, Harold County I picked up because they were going to reprint the rest. It never happened, so I'm stuck with number one. So hopefully one day they do reprint them. That would be pretty cool. Uh, here's Lady Killer, the Hellboy. I got to pick up a couple to complete the run. The Massive, Black Science. Some more Black Science, Crawl Space, Deadly Class, Death or Glory, Tokyo Ghost, and Low. Here we go. We have uh, AD Afterlife, Alex and Ada, Criminal, Cruel Summers, East West, Invincible. We have Invincible, Lazarus, Middle West, Nailbiter, Peter Panzerfaust. Great, great, uh, what do you call it? Hardcover. I wish they made a volume two. I'll probably get a custom one done. Rat Queens, right next to that one. Another fun read. I gotta pick up the rest. Revival. I didn't hear good things about the ending, but I'll probably pick up the rest anyways and uh, give it a shot. Next to that, we have Royal City. We have Saga and The Walking Dead. Let's go down. We have The Walking Dead. A little too close. Let me back up. A Velvet, um, TMNT 1 through 4. The next to that, we have 1 through 5 of the ongoing um, title. We have Ghostbusters, Mass Hysteria, and I forget what the other one is called. Next to that, we have Darkwing Duck, Death of Captain America, Low, Gideon Falls. Those Calvin and Hobbes I picked up at a yard sale for like a buck or two a piece. Now let's continue to this side. Here we go. We have Captain America, Daredevil, Deadpool Cable, Deadpool Classics. We have Electra, Howard the Duck, uh, New X-Men, Oz, Punisher, Thor, the Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, Ultimate Spider-Man next to that, Uncanny X-Men. Uh, let's go down. We have X-Men, we have some Ecstatic, Annihilation Conquest. We have the War of Kings, Little Trilogy, Batman, the first volume, Batman 66, Batman Grant Morrison, first volume. Remember trying to look for volume two and three? I found two, but three seems like it was a little difficult to find for some reason, so I didn't pick up number two. I gotta look into it. Next to that, we have Nightfall, Gotham Central, Green Lantern, and we have some more Green Lantern. Harley Quinn, the Gotham City Sirens, Infinite Crisis, after that. Then over here, we just got a gaming computer, some work supplies, some 4K movies, some Simpsons DVDs, Along with uh, South Park, a little rat, and my other dog. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, check this out. This is pretty cool. I made this little, um, what do you call it? Kind of like a desk, I guess. I seen it online, something, because I wanted something I could read while I was in bed, like just kind of laying down, or not laying down, but like just chilling. And I made this out of PVC. I seen one online. It was kind of expensive, and I was like, I could make that for cheap. So I did, and it holds the book pretty well. My little tablet there and whatnot. So yeah, guys, once again, just a quick little peek. Some artwork. My little reading corner. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you later.